what it do, what it do. Welcome back to the Shizzle for the Wizzle, baby. What it do, what it do, what it do, Half and Jay family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jay. And we back with, with another, another reaction, reaction video. video. All right, so look, we about to get into another, we want to call it a reaction, you want to call it a, a skit, comedy skit. But let them know who we're going to react to oh, today. The one and only Bill Burr. Bill Burr, yes. baby. You know what I'm saying? And let them know what that comedy skit is. Epidi epidemic of gold digging whores. Epidemic of gold digging whores. That's deep. And you know they out there. You feel me? <laughs> oh, That's yeah. what they be. Yeah, they be looking for. Mm -hmm. money. You feel me? So look, <laughs> we about to jump into that. But before we get into that, everybody that's out there who has not yet joined the tribe. Come on. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yes. Turn your post notifications on. Yes. You gotta like and share this video. <laughs> and then just back. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. And then comment down below, baby. <laughs> Come and join the squad, man. Half and Jay. We over here kicking off. What? Good, Good vibes, vibes, baby. baby. Good, Good vibes. vibes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Alright, so look. Shout out's gonna be the end of the video. So you want to hear your name, stay tuned. Yes. All the links going to be down in the description below. Down below. You feel me? So go down to be those. Look around. Scroll around. Maybe buy some merch. We, oh, we got some new merch out. Yes. You feel me? So go take a look at that. Link will be in the description And we're also. waiting on ours, you guys. I'm right. It's coming so in the day, baby. I can't wait. Baby, I can't wait. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, we about to get into this, man. Stay tuned. Let's go. Okay. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would why wouldn't as why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? Mm. You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. All right. Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Yes, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Kobe. Get married at this point. You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. All right. The guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get seventy million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. <laughs> you know, can anybody explain? These divorce settlements, can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter with a quarter of a billion fucking right. dollars. Hey. Somebody, go ahead, somebody, explain, justify it. Justify it, what, what, he cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, he cheated on her. Great, the relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get a fucking pension? Right? Get that ten years in? <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. And every hey. Cause all some real shit. Uh huh. It'll make you be scared. I mean, it'll make you uh, scared to get married if you got money like that. If you that. have money, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you, I mean, you know. You don't women. know if they're for your best interest or. Yeah, it just. Just women. want you for your money. Right. Some women out there just, just, just shady like play that. Play the though. game. They, they plot, right. It's they a play game. the game. They, they plot, though, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, y'all be careful with them pretty women out there, man. Don't mm -hmm. let a big booty and a smile get you. You feel me? Be careful. Real talk. Epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. And every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? Like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. I'm talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. Everywhere. How many? Hmm. How many more great men are going to get chopped in half before we do something? Man. <laughs> Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? A, I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up wife beaters, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like pull back. <laughs> <but damn. laughs> this if you brought up white beaters, I would have pulled back. Like, oh, right, oh, oh. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, damn, man. If you brought up white beaters, I would have like, pulled back. I get it. 
There's guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are. Yeah. Except we don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the right. eye. So right. it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. Right there. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets. Right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. I gotta tell you, since I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. You know? People, you got 1-800 numbers, you got, you got ribbons. There's groups. Hey. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy, it's just considered funny. Right. Real Some talk. woman cut her Real husband's talk. dick off, threw in the garbage disposal, right. turned it on. People thought it was hilarious. Right. Like, hey, 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 Stumpy. Nobody cares. Hey, Stumpy. <laughs> it was a movie made and everything. Uh, a movie and everything, man. Listen, mm -hmm. y'all younger cats probably don't know what he's talking about, but it was, it was a guy... Back in the, uh, was it 90s, I don't know right? What year? Something like that. Lorena Bobbitt, though. Yeah, Lorena Bobbitt. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Cut off the little thing oh, thing. Yeah, she was a hero to right. a lot of women. To a lot like, of women. They was, they, was, they was condoning it. You feel me? They was making it seem like it was a good thing, a mm -hmm. cool thing, though. You feel like, me? Like, don't cheat, don't play. Right, but come on, man. You can't cut off a man. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 you know what I mean? That's all we, that's all we got. It's our balls and our word. Am I right, man? Okay, then. Yes, go. <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, hey, hey Stumpy. Nobody cares. Right. Do you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the drawer, <laughs> anybody would be joking about it the next day? Right. Right. The entire country would grind to a halt. Man. Be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. Right. right. That's the truth. <laughs> All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. <laughs> Taken down by that gold digging whore of a maid he's got. Man. And I'm not, I'm not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. Right. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. Right. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, right there. Hey, that's real, man. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? <laughs> the giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through? Right. <laughs> and then maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Ah, hey, he's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? Mm, right. Cooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so one of the ugliest human beings. Not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> it has gotta be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks. You know? That dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be, that should have been the height of his success. Uh, but because he's a great man, he had the balls <laughs> to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. Uh, I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> he lifts weights, ah, 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 becomes super famous. Right. Did he rest on his laurels? No, next challenge. I'm gonna become an actor, despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. Against all odds, he right. starts making movies. Get right. down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> because what? Just like on the one, on, uh, what's that movie called when they're in Mars? In Mars? Yeah, they was in Mars. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, man. Total Recall. Remember that movie, Total Recall? Yeah. Yeah. There was another movie that I watched. There were three people that didn't speak clearly. Yeah. 
Sylvester Stallone, 50 Cent, and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. But what about uh, Jean Claude Van Damme? Or, 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 uh, is it Jet Li? Or, uh, the one that played with Chris Tucker? Uh, his name, I can't think of it yeah. right now. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts making movies. Get down, there's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> he becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. Hey, no cap though, one of my favorite movies, if not, I ain't gonna say the favorite, but it's one of my very good favorite movies that had on a Schwarzenegger in it. What? Is The Predator. The, oh the, the yes, first one, the first one. His absolute man, favorite. That's movie. my that's my movie right there, man. For real. So if anybody got the the VHS or the DVD, send it to me, baby. PO box. He down below. loves that movie. You know what I'm saying? I love that movie, man. Becomes one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you gonna do next, Arnie? I think I'm Maddie or Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. <laughs> Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, Woo! and he wins the election. Man. Oh. Why Crazy. wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? Right. This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. <laughs> He's been in the zone for four, four decades. decades. <laughs> nothing but neck. Real talk. Bang a maid in Real my own talk. bed? Dude, that's a layup. Are you serious? Right, that's I had a easy. Hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. <laughs> then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these. What? We get a commercial. Absolutely. My name's Chad. And this is all these fatties. These fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls. Jowls. Coming on TV, absolutely <laughs> reprehensible. <laughs> We're kind of a public servant. His, his legacy is proud of him. <laughs> like they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer parked on the other <laughs> side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? This guy, he's not a great man anymore. Terminator doesn't count. Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice, really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's, the whole thing's over? Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, man. then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. All right. <laughs> How can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm gonna judge Tiger Woods. I golf. I don't walk off the 18th oh, hole and there's a man. busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, gotta go home to the wife. Right? <laughs> no, it kills me. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's Man. nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that for that platoon of whores that's gonna form on the horizon, mm. right? Like Braveheart, faces painted, skirts <laughs> on, run down the hill, they jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. They don't. Man. It's they not even don't. a handbook out there. <laughs> I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, "Why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs?" Right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. <laughs> Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. How the hell would I know? You don't wanna hear that from me, right? Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7, do it, do it, fuck it, do it. That's what it's saying. <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, do it. That's how we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Mm. Right? Yeah, we are. Do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? <laughs> it's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, right. you know? That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? <laughs> Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber. 
But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know, that do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know, that wasn't affecting his life. Then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll stop it, I'll do it, right? That's the truth. <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming horse, really. Just, guys, we're fucking idiots. What are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters? Man. You know? Three shifts? Man. They're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with cleavage of millions of dollars. He said Dorito dust, though, y'all. Damn. Hey, man. Dorito dust. Right, just sitting there plotting with the Dorito you know I mean? you know, dust. You know, you know, little, little cheese right, that you, just fall yeah, right you in sprinkle there. off your little your shit, though. You know what I mean? Damn, though. No, Dorito dust. And that's real talk, though, man. These, these famous people with all this money and stuff, they be marrying these women. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, they get the divorce. Mm -hmm. It's like, come on, man! Like you came in this relationship with absolutely nothing. A lot of men, you feel me? And now you want to leave and take half my bread? Oh yeah, that's. But <laughs> like, a lot uh, of men know that though. But like, uh, was it Jeff Be uh, Bezo, Bezo, whatever his name is? Didn't mm -hmm. him and his wife break up? They have a divorce or something like they that. Divorce, yeah. Imagine how much money she got. Hmm. And for for billionaire. for exactly for what he put together though, she was nowhere around when when he thought of that. You feel I thought, what I'm saying? I thought she was a part of it. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe I'm speaking on something I don't know about. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, do she deserve? If 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 she didn't go in with them and and help start all that, do she really deserve all that? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mud handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Right. It doesn't make us right. <laughs> no, it's unreal. And all this shit's going down, and we don't, we, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, hmm. right? <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. <laughs> What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. They slow you back up as you push your friend forward. Right? All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. <laughs> seven minutes Even worse, or less. you think it's your friend. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it. It's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over. Yeah, yeah, that was a good idea. Yeah. You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was the third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in, stand it up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. All right, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Hey. I hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank you. Okay. He said, he said, he said where's your dick at when you get in trouble? He all slumped right. over. Just, so, you know what I'm saying? So that's how you are. You said what? That's how you are. No, that's how my dick is. Like, oh. like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like he was saying. It ain't us. It's, it's, it's them. They're like, come on, come on, you do it, you do it. Baby, you have control of your mind, though. So look. <laughs> Just for some reason, it's always falling back on me. Y'all yeah. getting me in trouble. Y'all requesting no, these, because and then you're getting a man. me in trouble with it. So I'm talking about, I don't like that. So, you're a man, uh, of course. Let's get to these shout outs so we can get off this video. Let's get to these shout outs. Okay. First, first shout out goes to. Larry Steiner. What's up, Larry Steiner? What's going on, Larry? See y'all being champion. Yeah. We appreciate that, man. Thank you for being a yes. part of this. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Shrop. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Hope you stay safe. Come back and join us on the next one. Yes. Second shout out goes to DJ Area. What's up, DJ Area? What's going on, DJ? We see y'all throughout the channel. We appreciate all the love and support. Thank you. Thank you for being part of this good vibes tribe. Yes. Stay safe out there. Stay blessed. Yes. Come back and join us for the next reaction, yes. baby. You know what I'm saying? So, look, we about to get about this thing. Make sure y'all like, share this video. Subscribe if you have not did so yes. already. 
You yes. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We love you guys. Yes, we do. Peace and hair grease. Peace and hair grease. And like we always say around this time, if you, you feel like you're having yourself a negative day, yes. tell tune them. in to Half and Jay. You did. We'll catch y'all in the next reaction video. Yes. <laughs> Peace. Peace.